Rock Symphonies is an adventure. I don't want to say it defines a new genre, but it's something very special. Classical and rock work very, very well together. I always felt there was a very strong sense of rhythm, of precision. I always heard the Vivaldi piece in the background when I listened to Vertigo by U2. At some point I thought I'll try to take it a step further, especially for this record. I always enjoyed combinations from rock groups when they integrated orchestra. I always thought that kind of like elevated it to a different level. It's, it's an experience and any musician loves working with an orchestra. I recorded rock symphonies everywhere in the world, but basically the main recording sessions we did here in New York at Electric Lady. I really wanted to record here because it just has a good spirit and sometimes I prefer spirit over technicalities. I was a little scared to kind of do Teen Spirit because it's such an iconic piece and this is going to sound funny but I have the same respect for Teen Spirit as I would have for Beethoven because it really is something you don't want to burn yourself with. I would have been very unhappy if it wouldn't have been something where I was like this is really going to make the piece sound in a different direction. So I was very happy with the result. <laughs> Orianti, fantastic guitarist, and I'm very, very excited that she's actually not only on the record but also performing with me live in Berlin. <music> Choosing what I wanted to record was quite easy because we had a theme going, and whatever we did, if it was a classical piece or a rock classic, it all had the same very strong rhythmical vibe. I started playing the violin when I was four and didn't stop talking about playing the violin properly. I would say, of course, Perlman, it's like Perlman, studied four years here in New York with him, Ida Handel. Uh, my whole sound, the, the way I play is, is very, very much influenced by Ida Handel. I set out really to do what I enjoy musically. I would say I'm very, very passionate about every genre, especially rock and classical, yes, but I'm, I'm just a passionate person when it comes to music. Cashmere was just a no-brainer. It was really up to us to come up with something which would really make this piece as symphonic as possible, but still keep that very strong rock kind of riff. Beethoven was definitely for me somebody who uh, had that kind of rock star appeal. I mean, the real definition of a rock star is somebody who's extremely passionate about music and trying to explore and not follow. So Beethoven was definitely not a follower. Uh, the Fifth Symphony in itself really marks a change in dynamic and it's an iconic piece and it fits the record. <laughs> Thank you.
each record was the right time and it was the right moment to record it. And everything came in perfectly and I think it's, it's really pretty much the best work I've done. I'm very, very proud of it. Thank you.